All right, so we are going to uh, make a new scene, create a new scene and bring our prefab training area in the scene. We set the position and add the lighting. Lighting setting, generate the lighting, save scene, save scene as um, robot, robot test. This is a test scene, it's not a training scene. So uh, let's uh, unpack this. So we don't want to affect the other uh, other other uh, robots. Okay, so for this guy, we are going to, um, we, we don't need to re or reward something uh, there, but okay. So what we are going to do is I'm going to add a, one more thing to this script. So it allows me to use my hand to change the goal position. So we are going to go to the edit script um, and we are going to add a public Boolean called uh, BL heuristics, heuristics. Okay, and the default should be uh, false. So we don't want to start by heuristic. So by default, it should be just normal. But whenever I tick this true, I don't want this update position to be happening. So I say, if heuristic is not true, I do all this. But if this is true, I'm not going to let this to update. Okay, so let's control S. Close this script. Okay, so you will. This will affect every robot, of course. Yeah, but only uh, the default is false. So I'm going to set this as true. And if I set true, this guy is not going to uh, move. But I can now change the position and my robot is actually following somehow following this somehow not exactly but it's doing it pretty well because now it has the brain so what could be interesting is for example if you are in ar space um, you can use your hand to let the goal to follow your hand and you can just move your hand around and to interact with the robot. That could be a really interesting application. Yeah, so there can be a lot of interesting things to do with it and I look forward to this robot to be trained much better so it can follow better. All right, but yeah, so I hope you can uh, enjoy this and try to implement it in your own project and see what kind of things we can do with this. All right. Okay, thank you very much. That's the end of the tutorial.